look at art in galleries mostly in total isolation. White walls, white boxes, and we don't get a sense of how art is really lived with. We wanted to show his various collections, uh, the brilliant chandeliers that hang, but there, there's a whole kind of agenda of high-low in John's life and in his home and as an art. Um, so that the house, in fact, is um, full of fireplaces that don't work or William Morris wallpaper that is actually a cheap imitation of William Morris. And he loves that kind of, um, it isn't what it seems. And he's very funny about it. So the idea of using a cartoon made a great deal of sense because of course one can kind of exaggerate and one can have fun with it without it being dominant. The art is still dominant, but the cartoon gives it just enough context to be able to read uh, the ideas of context. The idea of revealing and concealing certainly works well with uh, Fairfield Porter and, and John, and John Ashbery. This is a portrait of John when he was 30 years old, done in 1957 in Fairfield Porter's house. And so there's something really important, I think, to both men's work in a certain domesticity where a private world gets revealed, and at this time, where people are in the closet in a public world. Uh, you know, Fairfield Porter had a great interest in young, attractive men, and so that, that interest gets concealed in the kind of artistic gaze in a portrait. The idea of qualities is a more pluralistic or heterogeneous idea uh, it, it, it encourages multiple views. Um, I think it tends often to be associated with um, what you might call a liberal view of experience, whereas the idea of quality with a capital Q often is ex uh, uh, associated, I'm not saying always, but can be associated with a more authoritarian view of experience. This idea of, of purity of a kind of singularity, it, it likes to claim the moral high ground. And some of, of those of us who say, well, I like this, but I also like this, and sometimes I like something that's maybe a little, even a little campy, we're kind of often made to feel by these moral high ground people that we're somehow inferior eclectic. <laughs> There's a beautiful poem in which John talks about, as he says, now, about what to put in your poem painting. Flowers are always nice, particularly delphinium, etc. So the idea, I think, is that he understands that paintings can be poems.